If you are unable to obtain a person's weight, you can monitor changes in their body weight and estimate their BMI by measuring their mid-upper arm circumference, sometimes referred to as MUAC. Mid-upper arm circumference does not correspond to a specific body weight in kilograms or stones. However, changes can provide an indication if the person is gaining or losing weight. Changes in mid-upper arm circumference are correlated to changes in body weight. A 5% increase in mid-upper arm circumference is the same as a 5% increase in body weight. If this is the first time the person has had their mid-upper arm circumference measured, always use their non-dominant arm. However, if someone has an affected arm, for instance following a stroke, then use their non-affected side. Make sure you document which arm you have measured by writing L or R next to the measurement to identify the left or right arm. Then always use the same arm for future measurements. To determine a mid-upper arm circumference, ask the person to bend their arm to a right angle. Measure to the nearest 0.5 cm, the distance from the bony protrusion of the shoulder and the point of the elbow. Mark the midpoint. For instance, if this measurement is 36 cm, you would need to mark the point at 18 cm. Then ask the person to let their arm hang loose. Measure around the arm at the midpoint you marked, making sure that the tape measure is snug but not tight. The point where the tape measure overlaps indicates the person's mid-upper arm circumference. Measure to the nearest millimeter. Write this measurement on the nutritional screening tool. If a measurement of 23.5 centimeters or less is recorded, this would indicate that the person's body mass index, often called BMI, is likely to be less than 20, suggesting they may be underweight. A mid-upper arm circumference between 23.5 and 32 centimeters indicates the person's BMI is within the healthy range of 20 to 25. A mid-upper arm circumference greater than 32 centimeters indicates the person's BMI is greater than 25, suggesting they may be overweight. Mid-upper arm circumference can also be used to monitor changes in body weight to determine if dietary interventions have been successful or not. If repeated, mid-upper arm circumferences are completed monthly. This can be used as an indication that the person's body weight is increasing or decreasing. For instance, if the mid-upper arm circumference has reduced, this suggests weight loss has occurred. The MUST alternative measurement tape can also be used to determine mid-upper arm circumference and is color-coded to help determine if someone is likely to be at risk of undernutrition. When measuring a mid-upper arm circumference, if the measurement falls into the red area, this indicates that the person has a BMI of less than 20, and you may consider putting in place a moderate risk undernutrition care plan. If the measurement falls into the yellow area, this indicates the person has a healthy BMI, between 20 to 25. And if in the green area, this indicates their BMI is greater than 25. <music>